So want to learn how to make this beautiful bottle, you can gift it. If you want to gift wine or liquor, you can do it in the same way. It will be a gift and also a lifelong remembrance of this beautiful bottle. So to make that beautiful weaved bottle, you will require a bottle. I have taken this bottle because of the shape. I like this shape and it's going to give me a nice after effect. So then you need these rolls. The rolls are shown in my first video. The link to which is in the description box. They will need Fevicol to join the rolls as you are weaving. I always like to put keep a little Fevicol in a container like this so that when I have finished I will close it and it stays. It's easier to use from a container than a bottle. I need a small cardboard to fit this size. So I'm going to cut this cardboard the size of the base of the bottle and of course spray paints. I brought it from Amazon but I would suggest to buy it from the local shop because Amazon is taking delivery charge and it's becoming too expensive. So let's get started with doing the weaved bottle. You will also need a scissor and a pencil to mark this. So I'm going to take the side, the base of the bottle and I'm going to mark this. So here I have marked the base and now I am going to cut it around. So I have cut the base, the size of the bottle. Now I am going to start, I keep my bottle away for some time. Now to start this, you need to attach these rolls. As I said, the make the how to make a detailed video on how to make the rolls is in the description box there's a full video which I have mentioned because uh, no one does that they just show you how to make the roll but they don't tell you the tactics of how to make the roll so now this first I'm going to divide this whenever we do this weaving we are going to start with odd number of uh, we're going to attach odd numbers so I have decided to attach seven rolls so I'm going to mark seven one two three four five oh it's two so let me go one two three four five six and seven so I take the center ones these are my I'm going to do it with seven so this is what I have marked seven now I'm going to attach a roll in each of the seven so I'm going to attach one roll everywhere put it a little in so that it has a firm base and attach the broader side of your roll okay so I will have to take out crafting is something which distracts my mind from all all the troubles of life, I should say. So it's good. Okay, so I, you need a bigger table, but after that it's okay. Only to attach this. And then again, all the, you'll attach on all the sides. seven rolls in seven places so I have attached seven rolls in one of the places I will attach a double roll so if I'm attaching starting from here I'm attaching two rolls over there okay now I have just taken a small size of this to make this thing firm you know to give this base this rolls little firmness to in holding down there so I'll just do this so that the rolls get stuck ok 
okay so now it's strong and it won't come out although my table is small I will not have to worry about it coming out so now I take my bottle again as I said the bottle you can take any bottle even a square bottle and I'm so lucky to get so many bottles so I'll be doing a lot of bottle craft now now we are going to start uh, let me turn this this way now you can see there are two rolls here you will take the one which is on this side and turn it over the over this roll take it closer to the bottle okay the first two three uh, rows will be a little difficult so you take it closer to the bottle now this roll from here has is come this way so now this roll is this is the second roll take this roll over that roll take it over that roll and pull this first roll down straight understood see now this roll this roll which has come from here is going over this this the sorry the roll which has come from here is here and the roll which was here is going over this roll it is going over the third roll and now the third roll will go over that that roll from the second and the second one will be pulled straight like the third roll so now these rolls are twisting over here and press it down okay if you want you can put a drop of glue the same way I will go one second I think I need to remove all these other rolls from here I just love making rolls it de-stresses de me you know really really very see now you can see I don't need this also till I need to join rolls now all my rolls are here now I have taken this roll which is the third roll I have taken it above the roll which has come from the second and put it here so the same way I will take this roll over that roll which I have brought from here and put this roll straight this roll is straight now this roll I took it from here I'm going to take it over this roll which is here and now take this roll which is here twist it over that roll and bring that roll straight have you all got it so you basically take that roll go over the roll which is there and go to the side now this roll uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit This roll is brought, I brought this roll from here, over this roll which was there. Now I take this over this and take that roll there and leave this roll down. The same way, this roll is attached here. I got this roll from here. I take it over this roll, lift this roll up. Now take lift this roll up now take this roll which I brought from there and make it straight so this resembles the roll which was in this place so similarly I will go all around if you are not comfortable with the first roll you can put glue there but see that you keep these rolls straight don't let them move see when I'm break when I'm bringing this roll I'm keeping this roll straight now I come to the starting from where I started see all my rolls let me all my rolls are spread out evenly okay see that this you spread it out evenly 
Now I've come to the starting. This is where I started. The same way I go. Now I'll bring this roll here. And you will always notice that it, the, the next knot goes a little further. See, I, here, this was where I knotted it first. Now this knot will go a little higher. And it will keep going higher, higher, higher. So this is again the same thing. You can see the shape taking place. All you have to do is get this roll from here, put it over this roll and twist it. So this roll comes down and this roll goes forward. Just twist it. The first step will be a little difficult because you have to take shape. Just twist it. See, take this roll over here, twist this roll. That's it. Take it. This is the original roll. This has come from here. Twist it over it and take the original roll forward. Now when I am going to join, it's the same as I already told you all. This is the broad side of the roll and this is the narrow side. So you will just scoop some fevicol into this broad side and just glide it into this. So I will continue doing it for all this. Now I have to attach the second roll. But let me show you the design. See this? Can you see this coming up? It's really beautiful. And when you finish it, it is really good. So you have to start. If it's a bigger bottle, you have to start with more uh, rolls. So I've taken seven because my bottle was uh, sufficient for seven size. If you are having a wider bottle or you're taking a um, empty, you know, old container like those 5 kg boxes and all that we have to make it a planter you can do this with many so you have to line it all around with many uh, tubes but always remember it should be in an odd number so I have completed the second round of rolls that means I have used 7, 8, 16 rolls to do this much See, basically, just take it over, twist it, twist it tightly. Take it over, twist this. So this one goes there, that one comes there. Twist it. This is all you have to do, twist it. And you will notice that your knots keep moving. See, they keep moving. And the more tighter you twist it, the more better it is. So now this is the third time I'm going to attach rolls and I think I will have to do it once more. Now I, I want to tell you all one uh, problem that arises during this fixing of rolls. Sometimes what happens is your if you are practiced a lot of making a lot of roll making you will get perfect rolls but sometimes when you are a beginner you tend to not get this proper fixing inside you know you your either your both the sides of the rolls are broad or something as time goes you will definitely master the art of making rolls but sometimes it does happen that you know both the sides are the same and you cannot fix it so what you will do is this one you will just fold it a little bit here you know fold it up fold it up and make it narrow and then you fix your uh, roll into it okay so that is the way you will continue you don't have to be so worried that oh the roll is not going in or stop doing you know think that what what should I do now nothing just bend this part of the roll and then you fix it in okay
so I have come to the end and now I will just end it so my roll is that side so I will just end it now this is enough I don't want it to grow more longer more higher so now I will just bring it to, oh this is what happens so you can see this is what happens if you pull after you stuck the rolls just be very careful to otherwise they will just fall off so I'm just bringing it to the center So now when you have come to this end you will you have many sticks now and you don't need so many to so what I will do is I will just twist stick them just go on twisting them see around this I'm just every time I'm getting two to twist since it is every time I will get two take two forward take this from here and take this one just twist it twist it again you will get this here sorry 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 see you will get just twist them so you're getting these extra over here now you will divide these into three on this side and four on this side fine divide this here okay three on this side three on this side one you will take one and you will wrap it around this cover put at put fevicol for this cover and wrap this one around it if you need more you attach another roll see that you wrap it nicely I'll need one more roll I'll do it later so I am covering this part up. Now I have three on this side and three on this side. Okay. So I am going to plait it. You know. Just a normal plait. No. I think I will attach one one more roll and then start plaiting. Okay. So now I got from the seven rolls that we were working with. I have got... See, divide it equally. So, whichever rolls are coming, sorry, whichever rolls are coming on this side, let them be there. Whichever are on this side, let them be here. Now, on this side, I have only two. That side, I got four. This side, I have got only two. Fine. Just twist it. Take another roll. Just loop it here. See, just put it here and bend it over when it dries it will attach here so wait for wait to work on it only after it dries so I'm going to at, see that I have six on this side and six on that side so I'm going to just attach it from underneath this roll and I'm going to just lock it up over here I'm just locking it up so I, I want to get three on this side three on this side uh, six on this side, six on that side. Rolls. Long rolls like this. So I got one, two, three, four, five, and I'll get one more. Just push it anywhere you want with glue. See that it sticks nicely. So I have stuck three rolls extra. I had only. So I, you just stick them, just let them go into this. Let this dry the extra rolls you have stuck. The other three two rolls were quite strong because they come from the weaving. But these extra rolls what you have made, you have attached. Wait for it. If you're using glue gun, it's very fast. But if you're using fevicol, wait for it to dry. And then you divide this into three. Two, two, two. And you do your normal plaiting. How you do your plaiting? See, oh, it's coming out. So I will just give it a minute to stick before I start plaiting. 
So now my roll has stuck and I'm just going to do the normal plait that we have learnt in our childhood. It's so much nice to see our childhood days when we went to school with two plaits and proper red ribbon, black ribbon according to the colour of our uniform. And nowadays we don't see that. So I just keep plaiting it. Make a nice flat plait. See I'm not, I'm just keeping the sticks. Press them down. So my, the plait should be long enough for the handle. So this is, I'm go, you have to attach this here to make it more stronger. So from here and I want to attach it here. So I think this handle is a little big, big. So here, this much, right? So I will cut out what is extra here, leaving one, only one roll. I will cut out these remaining. This one roll I will again flatten it and twist it round this base to give it a rope effect. Now don't draw those rolls which you cut, okay? We will need it. So I have given this effect here. So let this be like this. And this with the glue gun, you will have to attach it over here. I'm going to attach it like this. Now the same thing I'll do on this side. Okay. So I have made two plaits on either side. Now why did I make these plaits from the weaved uh, rolls is because it will be very strong to hold. I can put anything in this bottle and I can hold it. Whereas if I had to attach the, the handles separately by just putting them here, they would, there were chances that it would open up. So. I, that's why I took the rolls which were from here. Now uh, to make it more strong, I'm going to hold both these handles to the bottle. See that both the handles are straight. And I have taken a roll, two rolls, I have joined two rolls which I had cut out from the end of the handles. And I'm going to just put some Fevicol all around this just to give it more support. This handles on top will give it that raised effect. So my hand, the handles are straight, remember that. And I'm just rolling this round over here. Later we will roll rope around it so it will give it an, a more traditional look. So now this, now with the glue gun, I'm going to stick this handle here. You will have to use a glue gun. And I'm going to stick this handle here. If you want, you can also make just one handle. If you want, you can make two handles. We'll also make the stopper for this. Now to make a stopper for this, I'm taking something which will go inside and it's loose. It's not very tight. So this is some homeopathic medicine which school gave us for Corona. So these are the small pill bottles. You can use the cover of the sketch pen. So you have to just roll some rolls, flatten it and roll it around. If you're using it as a flower, you don't need to make this stopper. So I'm just rolling it. I roll it till down. Now I'm going up again to make it a little more bulky. I'm 
go to seal it up here. Let me see if it fits. Yes, it goes into this. And I'm going to do something more for it. So I have rolled one roll. Now I'm going to make, this is going to go inside this, this much. So the outer I'm going to make it a little thicker. So I'm going to attach half a roll, a roll from half the way. I'm going to just roll it over in one place, over and over again. See, just in one place. So I'll keep, keep flattening the roll as you're working and keep sticking this. In the center, so you're getting it like this, you know, it's bulging out. So here, I'll stick one roll first. So see, I just rolled a roll around this. So it's fitting into this now nicely. It's fitting like a, you can see, it's fitting like a cover. Now on the top of this, I'm going to put some decoration to make it look a little antique. For the decoration, you can use anything. I just got some washer, busher, whatever it's called. I can put this here. On top of that, I can just put a plain bead if I want to just give it I can use the other side of the Fevicol bottle you know that also I can use it as a cover just as a design I'll show you I, I don't have a old Fevicol cover but then see this goes in like this this would make another once you paint it it looks very antique so anything like that it's oh I had Fevicol in the cover so I'll take the opportunity and stick this on top and I'll put in a little glue in the center to stick this bead so to give it a little effect Let's see so this is my cover you do anything you want it's your the way you do it this is just one way of doing it now I will also let this dry at the side. I'm going to stick this handle to the height that I want. I'm going to press it down like this and stick it so I get it like this. Okay, so here you need to do this with glue gun or with, with this very quick. Is it okay? Or should it come a little lower? is okay so here and the same way I will stick it here see that both the sides are equal before you press it down so here you can see my lovely bottle is ready okay this is because of the fevicol otherwise it would have stuck if I had to use just the glue gun but here and then I paint it up according to your choice or if you are going to sell wine or something in this you can always make bottles like this and use a proper cock to do the to seal the bottle so yeah this bottle is ready and you can see how nicely the weave So oh, here your bottle is ready. You can attach some flowers or attach a gift tag if you are gifting something 
if you're gifting liquor you can make this and after the liquor is over they can always use it as a decorative bottle they won't throw out the bottle so anything you can make homemade wine if you're making homemade wine use a pop proper cock to seal this if you you if you're gifting a liquor bottle don't remove the cover keep the cover put the roll round the cover and then on top of that cover you can put some decoration so they will screw it up like this and remove it out so this is it